In the previous tutorial, I was demonstrating what could be done with the function keys on a standard PC keyboard, including the numeric keypad on the right hand side. And uh, near the end of the tutorial, I meant to demonstrate what happens when this function is used. And uh, for some reason, I forgot that uh, I, for this group of functions it was necessary to precede the key press by escape. So I just pressed the key and because I didn't precede it with escape I got this function which is load line instead of load range. And because I had typed in a loop it found only the last line of the loop and produced an error message. And at the time I was slightly mystified but it was only later that I realized what I had done wrong. So now I will demonstrate what should have happened. The previous part of the tutorial that I'm not going to repeat explained what, how to use the row of function keys at the top of the keyboard, marked F1 to F12, and then the function keys in the middle of the keyboard, uh, which uh, may have this pattern or may have some additional keys, but typically include this p pattern, the arrow keys, and then in both cases showed that you could use the key alone to get these functions on the top row or preceded by escape to get those functions performed. And likewise uh, with the middle keys you can use these keys to get the functions marked here like toggle static, go to top of file and so on or precede with escape <coughs> to get these functions like insert line above, go to start of range and so on. <coughs> and likewise with the numeric keypad there's two, so two lots of functions one of which is to um, uh, move the cursor around, uh, switch status between the command line and the main uh, edit file, redo last command, or enter, which is what causes the cursor to go up to the command line, or commands preceded by escape, which do larger movements, like left lots, up left lots, right, down right lots, and so on or in this case to compile a marked range as opposed to just a line. So I'm going to move this out of the way and show what I should have done. And the file which summarizes all of this is still available online at this location as one of the help keys, VEDEX term keys. It's also in the poplog system. And that diagram that I just showed you is available in two formats online in the same directory. So what should I have done? Well, I'll start a blank file called demo.p and I typed something like this. Repeat 10 times um, square root of 99. Print that out and repeat and if I just put the cursor on the square root of 99 then if I click on this key which is the third one from the left on the numeric keypad, keypad on the right then that will load just one line so I put the cursor on there and I press that key um, which has an asterisk on it on my keyboard and it obeys that command and the output goes into the output file. On, <coughs> on the other hand, if I mark the whole range and put the cursor anywhere, for instance down here, and then I use escape plus that key, <coughs> then it should compile the whole range. So I type escape, which you can't see, and that key, the same key as before, the asterisk on the numeric keypad, and it does the whole loop. On the other hand, if I make a mistake, as I did last time, and just put the cursor there, and then press the um, asterisk key without escape, it tries to just compile one line, and I get an error message. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's what should have happened. And I apologize for any confusion caused at the end of the last demonstration. 
another thing that I uh, did not remember when I was doing that last demonstration was that I could uh, illustrate the use of these two keys at the bottom of the keypad which are marked uh, zero and dot or underneath ins and del and the editor fed uh, transforms them if you've set the pop up correctly and your initialization files are correct so that they perform different functions now they move namely they move left or right in a file so if I quit this file quit the output.p file and go back to the teach file then if I click on the word right key which is down here while the mouse is in that window you can see each time I click 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 it moves the word to the right and if I click on this key it moves the word to the left if I w click on word right enough times to get it to the end of the line oh, what it means by word is what depends on the pop 11 definition of word which can be changed because it's all programmable but by default for instance it won't treat function keys as one word where the function keys is hyphenated as here because the hyphen in pop 11 is a separate operator from um, a set of letters so it'll break function hyphen keys into three words so I'm going to press three times one two three and it's got to the end of the line if I press word right again it goes to the beginning of the next line and I press again and it moves on it'll treat the comma as one word also so it's not treating words delimited by spaces it's treating them delimited as they would be if read in as program text which is quite useful when you're using the editor for programming if I click on word left it goes left and at the beginning of the line if I do it again it goes to the previous line and so on and those correspond to the same sorts of moves as you get when you use delete word left or delete word right using the function keys F6 and F7 on the top which I did demonstrate previously and I'll repeat now if I click on F6 it'll delete the word to the left of the cursor keys then again it'll delete the hyphen then it'll delete the word function and so on if I m move it to the middle and click on delete word right which is F7 it'll delete how then delete to and in this case when it deletes things it um, shifts everything to the left on the other hand if I first click on toggle static which is this key here the top left of that little group of function keys I'm going to click on it and it says static on now if I click on delete word right which is F7 it leaves the space and leaves the cursor where it is if I click on it again nothing happens so static mode can cause surprising results but you click on it again it'll toggle static static mode which I now do static off now if I click on delete word right it deletes the space to the word and then the next time delete the word ved and then the forward slash which is a divide symbol in pop 11 and then exit and so on well that's the end of this little supplement to the previous tutorial on ved's function keys and apologies again for the mistakes and my coughing